welcome back welcome back guys to part two of east coast having fun in the sun at boca grande sandbar and if you guys missed part one that means you guys wasn't subscribed and you guys didn't get notified so make sure you do that and like the video and like this one too so if you saw part one you know we had a great sausage time that the video joined us and now let's continue with the video Channel sausage, hamburger bun, time for the sausage, and this is how you do it. There you go. All right, see if it's good or bad. <laughs> be, be honest. <laughs> like it? Oh, yeah. Good? Hot. It's hot? <laughs> it's hot, but good. There you go. That's the new way of eating sausages hamburger bread with a sausage in it. <laughs> well, so far, we're having a great time here at the sandbar with family and friends, and we got to meet really cool fans that watch the channel and hopefully on the process make some new ones also you can see it doesn't matter how you get to the sandbar just get to the sandbar and enjoy the water because life is always better wet And as you can see, everyone is enjoying the sandbar and the water on their own pace. And talking about enjoying, here's a few guys taking sea laxing to the next level. And it looks like all the boaters around them doesn't bother them. They're enjoying this place no matter what. And you know what? Fresco and Joel want to enjoy a little bit of fishing. So we're going to see how lucky they get. And they have to get lucky in two things. First of all, they have to throw the cast in and catch sardines. And then sardines, put it on the hook and hopefully they can catch a snook. Because we've seen plenty of them running around the pipe. And yeah, in around 30 minutes or so, they hooked one. But they had a surprise. Well, because he's, he's, that's why he's kind of skinny. Because he hasn't been able to eat with that thing in his mouth. We put him back in the water so it doesn't die. So we just took this lure out of the snook's mouth. So now he can finally eat and have him like regular. Does he put him back? So nice. Nice. Look, he's skinny though, but he couldn't eat. Yeah, he couldn't eat with this. First, my, my first snook. My biggest. Can I put him in the water? Can I put him in? Nah, Show him around. Yeah. Cool. That's super cool. Let him go, let him go. No, you don't have to let him go yet. Hey. He would have sang one by himself, but he's gone. That's super cool. Happy now. Yeah, now he could keep eating. Right there. It's really cool. Little rails. That was amazing and lucky for the snook because Joel snagged them to the lure that was stuck in his mouth. So we got him and took the old lure out of his mouth, and now he could go and eat and swim freely. Glad we could help Mother Nature preserve for children. Now here's something you have to be careful with because there was a few of them swimming around. Because if one of these touch you, you're gonna remember it. So before more of his friends come, we decided to pick up anchor and head out to another place. That, it was on our way back home anyway. But before heading out, I met this really cool lady with this really cool kayak that was battery operated and remote control. That was really cool. Bye. And she didn't come alone. She came with a few friends. And according to her, the kayak lasts about six to eight hours of propulsion. So 
So what do you guys think about this place? Me? I like it very much. This is my second time and I'll be back for the third, fourth and fifth and to do some more sandbar exploring. video riding at the stern is the most comfortable smooth spot on any boat so smooth that Ogida fell asleep once again and got pretty lucky because the surf is pretty smooth to add to the comfort on the back of the boat <laughs> And following close behind is Bofidio on his beautiful 23 foot tight water with a 250 Verado. And now look at this the ride is so smooth that even Fakita fell asleep on the front of the boat. But you know who was wide awake? Some cool fans that came by and said hi on their beautiful Everglades. Alright, so we actually reached. Boca Grande's mouth right here that's the open gulf over there and this is some island here that I don't know what it is oh this kind of got tiny and we're gonna check it out never been here we're island I exploring been here. I, haven't been, I haven't been On here the other side. let's go check it out I guess it's drive it up, drive it up. Yeah. Sandy enough? Yeah. Sandy enough? yeah sandy enough look at that pretty cool Slow down. All right. <laughs> what is this? We got shells. So we got the whole beach to ourselves. Look at that. Woo! I think this is North Cayocot. I think. I haven't looked it up yet, but we're here for video in the island hopper. Look at this. The bucket. Here you go. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Here she goes. At it again. The bucket is full of trash. What is that? Oh my goodness. Look at that. She's taking half of the island with her. Sorry, West Coast people. Ogida is just going to be a shortage of everything here shells, rocks, everything. Look at this. We got the whole beach to ourselves. How cool is this? Then this is the mouth of Boca Grande and we're hanging out for the rest of the day. Actually, we were going to another sandbar, but I decided to stop here because it looks so pretty. And look at this. It was a bad idea because she's picking up everything. It's okay. I'm going to ask you something. Are you guys related to Ogida? <laughs> <laughs> Taking stuff from the islands? <laughs> I'm helping her, so don't tell me. <laughs> I think, look at them. Look, they're adding to Ogida's. No, That's not me. <laughs> he doesn't want to get involved. <laughs> Alright guys, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Look what Okita's doing. Look at that. She got a box of I guess sea urgents. Oh my goodness. 
Sorry, West Coast. I know you're gonna have a shortage of everything, shells, everything. And yeah, look at that. What are you doing? You got more? Oh my goodness gracious. What are you gonna do? With all those dead sea urchins. On the table or something. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Look at that. Can you see this one? Oh, that's kind of cool. They're very uh, fragile. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them. Wow. I've never seen so many of them. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, I need, I need more. I need to fill the box. Let me bring it out this way. Hold on. Look at that, she got a whole box. Oh boy. And I thought we were gonna stop here and uh, enjoy the water. Well, I am. Have you gotten the water yet? It's really good. Look, Ogida found an accomplice <laughs> to, to the cost. <laughs> I guess everyone's doing their thing. Me on the water for the Quito out fishing, Joel going to Castlet, and Ogida and Denise picking up souvenirs from the beach. But this time, they brought a box and a big bag. So we did a quick stop at the mouth of Boca Grande and actually one side is Boca Grande and the other side is the north side of Cayo Cota that I realized where we were at when we started leaving but now we're heading over to our next destination but I'll be back here again because the tarpon migration happens here I just don't know what time of the year but I'll find out and you guys will find out because I'll be here to film it Actually, on our way out to uh, Boca Grande, we noticed there was a lot of boats here. So we decided on our way back to stop, and there's no boat here. I guess because it's already too late in the afternoon. But we're gonna stop anyway. Let's see what it is, see what it is. Pretty cool. Oh, right there. It's pretty cool right there. It's two feet. Two and a half. Just trim up. Two feet. Nah, two and a half. It's pretty cool here. One and a half feet. Now you're good. Keep going. So here we go. Check it out. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Actually, there's the, I guess the Bay Area, and there's like a cove. It's pretty cool. Hey, well, that's how deep it gets. Yeah. Look. Wow. <laughs> that's fast. That's how it's getting salty falling. Let me see going. Well, that's crazy. Oh no, I'm, I'm sinking in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually gotta go for there. It's pretty sick. Wow, look at this. It's Let's pretty go. cool. Also, get out here, look. Come. Quiet, though. It's deep over Walk in. That's crazy. I already can't reach. 
Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> and then right here is really shallow. Daddy, it's so deep over here. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Right there on the edge is super deep. Wow. That's weird. So this is probably perfect for the boat too. They're actually walking. Yeah. Oh, that one's moving more. Look how cool that is. I've never seen one out of the water. My life. That's really cool. It's crawling. Yeah. And so you see, you see sometimes that they like, they start like sticking to your, with their tentacles underneath. They got like little. Yeah, that little mouth. Yeah, a little mouth, but then they have like a little. That's really cool. And I don't know about you guys, but right now, I'm loving this place because I've been here before with plenty of people listening to music and having a good time. But right now, I also consider this a good time because it feels like the whole beach belongs to us. And loving the view and the silence of the water crashing onto the shore with the occasional kids splashing in the water in the background. But that's okay because that means they're enjoying this place too. Uh, Also, just sitting on the boat and watching the sunset, it's enjoyable enough. And talking about the sunset, I'm not really sure if the ramp closes the sunset or not. So we're gonna start heading back because we still have about another 15 to 20 minutes right back. It all depends if we go back fast or just cruise along. made it back to Tarpon Large Marina and we got a company back with slow smooth sunset just like the boat ride. It was so smooth and comforting that Ogita fell asleep once again. And what do you guys think about the activities today? We got to hang out at a beautiful historic sandbar that we got an unexpected surprise from our good friend Perfidio from New York and he got to taste my new creation sausage with hamburger bread and we got to help out a snook with a lure stuck in his mouth and Ogita and her new accomplice Denise got to pick up a lot of souvenirs from the island and talking about Ogita well she just woke up just in time to help Doc the island hopper <laughs> 